Nothing that is coming up for me, thoughts, emotions, um, are a sign of something wrong with my mind. Or more and more confidence that nothing is a limitation to be of benefit moment by moment. This isn't how I was living most of my life before. It was, you know, well, we can sit here right now and see that our minds are completely unpredictable. We don't know what thought or emotion is going to come up next, right? The one that we had a moment ago, it's gone. Next one's going to come. And uh, we can't hold on to it. Can't predict it. Totally unpredictable and ceaseless flow of thoughts, emotions, experiences. And, uh, but there is something in that unpredictable flow that we can completely rely on. It is a, a greater order of intelligence, you could say, or experience that's available to us, to, that is supporting and empowering, is the source of everything moment by moment. And this is what we get to know through the Balance You training. Something about you that's completely reliable. Something about you that's totally powerful. That's completely open, wide open, like sky. Welcoming all experience. Your true nature, your beneficial nature. And to introduce yourself to the nature of your mind, to open intelligence. You just simply stop thinking for a moment and notice what remains. Brightness, clarity, alertness, cognizance, awareness, intelligence that's open, open like sky, wide open. And the thoughts and emotions, they just flow as they do within this space of open intelligence, within the, the spacious nature of your mind, completely inseparable. like the breeze in the air, or like ripples on water. <laughs> our data streams, our thoughts and emotions, our dynamic energy of our intelligence. So this um, introduction for me was the start of something very life-changing. In where I placed my focus in my experience, going from focusing on the thoughts and emotions and constantly trying to work things out and arrange things and describing and analyzing and examining my experience in order to find well-being and, okay, and be okay into more and more remembering to recognize open intelligence, recognize the openness of mind within the flow of all experience. And it's a, it's a practice, so the practice is just short moments of recognizing open intelligence, repeated again and again. One short moment, repeat again and again. <laughs> Recognizing the true context of mind, rather than collapsing into the data streams, but just to rest for a short moment openly, neither tense nor loose, just resting naturally. Rest naturally as you are. And uh, the, the shift of starting to really see my mind as it is, rather than collapsing into whatever thought or emotion or experience was occurring, but just to rest completely openly, started to open up so many more possibilities for me of relating relating to my own experience, understanding, and really seeing there's a capacity to, a clear seeing, to be of benefit moment by moment. That is my capacity, that's your capacity, that's what we are as human beings. <coughs> the descriptions and labels I'd placed upon everything kept <coughs> everything very limited, you could say. So what I thought I was capable of, you know, how I thought other people thought of me, 
responses, how I was doing in the world, or the, you know, other people's opinions, all the thing, these things really kept me very occupied. I thought about them a lot. Um, and, you know, really just how to find well-being in having the best possible thoughts and emotions for me and other people. And this was a, a constant project, you could say, of keeping as many desirable emotions and thoughts in place, positive ones, and getting rid of the negative ones. And there was, I see now, there was just this constant tension of effort, of trying to be a certain way, trying just to be okay, trying to play the game that I thought was going to give me life satisfaction. <coughs> And then an introduction to open intelligence and testing out short moments, testing it out as data streams arise, as the self-doubt arises, as the um, tension, as the fear of not being liked, as the fear of conflict or, you know, people just not liking what I do or say. <laughs> and, um, you know, it used to be like a total preoccupation like, how can I just get these people to like everything about me, basically? <laughs> everything I do, everything I want them all to appreciate me, I want them all to think I'm great. And the moment there would be like a glimmer of a response that was different to that, I'd just be like obsessed about this data stream. And like a whole story would evolve, you know, thinking about it. Okay, now what can I do? How can I sit or stand? Or what would be the next move that would actually like make everyone else happy? And instead, the choice to completely relax, to recognize open intelligence, recognize the power to know, recognize what's at the basis of all of those data streams, and allow, just allow naturally the data streams to be as they are. For me, it's very amazing, first of all, to see stability available to me in these data streams that I really thought would take me down. They were a sign of, you know, this, the start of everything going wrong, you could say, like and the n tension, the nervousness would start. And, and then more and more, just allowing the data to be as they're now, in, allowing them to naturally flow, short moment by short moment. It's amazing practice Candace has given, short moments of open intelligence repeated many times, until open intelligence is obvious all the time. Because open intelligence is already present. It's the nature of our mind bright intelligence right here, available to each of us. Well, I see for myself by just collapsing into a little data streams, one data stream after another, I was just missing the entire context. And so to rest naturally, allow mind to be as it is, allow mind to think as it will, relax completely. Relax in your power. And then I start to see that the data streams could flow on by. They do flow on by, like a line drawn in space, leaving no trace, resolving on their own. Open intelligence remains clear, bright, strong, <laughs> alert, ready for action, ready for response. And much to my surprise, really, finding I was much more prepared so this way that I'd been using my mind, thinking I was working things out and, you know, getting on top of stuff by thinking about things was actually not the optimal way to use my mind. There's a much easier way, a simple way of complete relaxation, total rest. And then seeing so much more, there was firstly like, responses to situations being able to work in, in teams and really also listen and have conversations with people in ways that I couldn't before, where I was so afraid of my data streams and the data streams of others. But more and more seeing like they're like mist in the air. And also, in, you know, with, with people who also have very, have had very negative responses to me or situations or my life choices, all sorts of different things. And, um, and finding there also a great clarity in how I want to relate for a start. <laughs> like finding how do I want to be in the world and really 
being able to rest completely openly and be completely clear about um, basically respectful relating and we can, t we can really choose how we're in communication with someone and how that will be of greatest benefit. You know, we don't have to withstand abusive behavior at all. But in terms of harmonizing relationships, that happens right here. That happens right here. That happens in, in us. In, in seeing the data streams as inseparable from open intelligence, in getting to know getting to know our beneficial capacity within those data streams, their beneficial nature. And there are, what's incredible with the, with the Balance View training, and you can see today, and if you're here for the first time, we have introductory trainings, and there's everything available really to, to really empower ourselves in all ways in life through relying on open intelligence through getting to know our fundamental beneficial power, that we have the capacity to, to relate completely beneficially and see solutions moment by moment. Temper was always something a little bit like stuffed down, like anger, so it was um, like it was like inside. <laughs> like I'd be like, Ehh. you know, but like so fearful of showing it, but like seething. <laughs> And because uh, it was such a bad quality to be angry and I, I didn't want to sort of put that in the world. So I'd just be sort of like slowly cooking <laughs> and I'd probably be a bit passive aggressive. Do you think that, do you? You know, like pushing it out the side, not really. And then if someone would pick me up and I'd be like, no, no, I'm not angry. I'm not. You know? <laughs> it's like different ways of like expressing it because you've got to let it out in some way or it's going to. But anyway, yeah, mainly just sort of keeping it down. So, but you know, complete the short moments of complete relaxation is amazing, because seeing that it, it that mechanism of needing to do something about the data stream in order to be okay, that well-being is somehow found in like indulging it or, you know, letting that anger out or or pushing it away or, you know. It's more and more, it's, it's the appearance of open intelligence and dynamic energy, and it serves us and fuels us in clarity and seeing what's needed. So the, the temper, the temper you could say, yeah, it transmutes into beneficial energy. And just through the practice of short moments, through the teachings from Candice and continuing on, showing up in this training, it's not a lessening down or dampening down of anything. I, my temper, has become more dynamic, but it doesn't get expressed in the way or internalized in the same way. It's the, the massive vibe <laughs> of beneficial power. And that's what we get to know about everything about ourselves, all of these you know, thoughts and emotions that I'd labeled this way and that as like good or bad, everything pooling in the great flow of beneficial power and wisdom. And so anything that can show us this in life is a very great gift. Because this isn't what I learned about being human or human nature. Not what I learned. No, no. <laughs> it was, um, and so, so discovering this, you know, education and then having the opportunity to really to, to train up open intelligence and start to see my power, the freedom to be, freedom to be me, <laughs> fully. Freedom to completely relax and to share gifts and talents in a, a spontaneous way, open-hearted for the benefit of all. This is what I see as the capacity of everyone.